we're back. What's up, everybody? Ninja Well Done, coming at you live on this beautiful corona-free day. Today is Saturday, Saturday, July the 30th at 10.58 in the morning. <laughs> How are you doing? So, here's the thing. I hate going to bed at night. You know, I wanted to talk about this specifically because uh, I'm a super productive guy. I really am. I love production. I hate laziness. And um, it's actually a big problem when it comes to like friendship and stuff because I'm super judgmental. All right. Hey, at least I'm honest. Right. Anybody that I'm friends with, 99.99%, you're proactive, you're a go getter, you get shit done. Um, and that's me. Right. You know, I've said on more than one video that I start my morning every single day around 4 o'clock in the morning. That's even on the weekends. That's 100% true. Because, and here's what I'm getting to, like, I wanted to talk about this because, like, every night before I go to bed, I just think about all of the stuff that I could be getting done where I'm just laying around like a sack of wasted life. I know I'm coming down hard on myself, right? But the very least I could do is get out of bed, get a good night's rest, okay? So I can be fully freshed, energized, and recharged, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, to crush tomorrow. But you won't ever catch me laying in bed doing nothing on a Saturday. Sounds boring. Sounds awful. Hate it. Don't want it. Okay? I don't want to be in that bed to go to bed at night, and I don't want to be, that, be in that bed to start my morning. I'm ready to get out. I am all about production. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's because I'm so passionate. So passionate about my comedy, about my jujitsu, you know? About my uh, different uh, psychology and philosophies and learning to always, and striving to be better. And laziness kills all of that. And I feel like every single night when I go to bed, I'm beginning to be lazy. It's the worst. It's the worst feeling. I hate it. I hate going to bed at night. I don't know I got to, right? You know, so. Man, but I, I hate it. I really, really do. You know? And every single, if I ever decide just to stay in bed a little bit longer, you know, and I don't use my, like an alarm, which I always use, even on the weekends, four in the morning, I'm out of bed, crushing it, right? If I were to be like, you know what, for A, B reason or whatever, maybe I should just get a little bit more rest or blah, blah, whatever, and I stay in bed an extra 30 minutes, one hour, two hours, whatever. Oh, I have the worst, it is like the worst feeling ever uh, of this loud truck the very next day in the morning. Because I'm not, I'm not really going to get those two hours back. And then I feel like right when my day starts happening, those two hours that I had, or one hour, or whatever, that I could have used, something will happen and it'll prevent me from like uh, making those uh, hours up later at night. You know what I mean? Like some personal weird responsibility, or I gotta go run some errand and do something wasn't really planned for. You know, I plan every single day accordingly so that I can maximize the most amount of my potential. I really am all about this comedy life and jujitsu. That's my warrior spirit, you know? So, um, you know, the only time that I ever really stay in bed, and I, I hate, hate it, um, after like 4 o'clock in the morning, any day of the week, doesn't matter when, is if by chance, for some reason, for some reason, I were to stay up late at night, it's like 11, 11, 30, 12, 12, 30. If it's already into the next day or like 30 minutes to an hour after like 10 o'clock at night or something, well, that means even less rest, right? And then when I, when I pass through that normal hour of four o'clock, that's when it sort of gets weird as far as controlling my natural rest cycle, right? Because I'm always, I'm always getting up at four but that's because I'm I get a certain amount of hours, right? So whenever I go past four, it's like I go way past four. It'll be like 5:30, 6, 6:30, and I feel like my whole day is gone. I hate 
complicated. You know, part of this whole uh, audio, podcast, etc. is if you ought to get to know me. I say this loosely as like a slight joke, my craziness, meaning my uh, psychology, my part of the way that I think. So when I'm on stage or doing jujitsu or whatever, right? You know how I think, why I think the way that I do. And it resonates, it resonates. It's all true through the way that I speak, through the way that I act, my comedy, everything that I do, I work for efficiency first, you know? But it matters most to me, it matters most to me uh, the strategy, the technique, etc. other things that I'm passionate about. I don't try to figure out the best way to put away the dishes. I just put them away. But when it comes to comedy and jiu-jitsu, 100%. Always working to be better. So, anyway, with that being mentioned, I just wanted to get that off my chest, you know. Um, I just love the feeling of knowing that I feel like there's like a weird quiet, like strong, bold energy, first thing in the morning, it's completely dark out, there's not a sign, there's not like a word that anybody's saying or nothing like that, no cars are buzzing, the street lights, nothing, and it's like this weird energy that I can just take, and I can like fully focus, and just pour out all of my creativity, and just crush it. I get my best stuff done before it gets even bright out. You know what I mean? It's motivating. So, anyway, yeah. That's pretty much that. I hope everybody has a beautiful day. I'm pretty much wrapping up here. Um, just to hit a side note, I, um, I've been working really, really hard to come up with my one hour of comedy. And uh, I recently saw this guy, uh, Andrew Schultz, his uh, his comedy special. It was great. I loved it. Crushed it. Stylistically completely different than me. Completely. Right? And there are some things, some really small things, technical-wise, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch it again. Uh, that he gave me good ideas that I could do. Not as far as the information, but just the presentation information certain things that he did that really caught my attention that were repeated. And I'm not going to get into it because that's part of the technique. It's part of the strategy, the skill is picking up on things, right? But um, it had nothing to do about what he was saying, not the context of anything he was saying. But just a few things that he did that technically, on a technical aspect, right, um, with how he was saying some things when he was, what he did, misdirection, just some small little tactics that I noticed was like a pattern. He kept repeating it, and it worked out great. And um, what's great about comedy and strategy and jujitsu and techniques and technical tactics and stuff like that is that it's kind of like math in the aspect that you can use a beautiful formula, like this formula of what he did, all right? or what somebody else does, and you can plug in any different content, and the formula will always work. It's a scientific method. And I actually, I didn't ever put a label behind it, but it is a scientific method. Where basically it doesn't matter what you put in, you'll always get an exact result. You know what I mean? Using a certain math, scientific formula, equation, etc. You know, you're doing it for a purpose. You just have to divide up to equal parts and uh, you'll get success. So I saw some interesting things that he did, which I'm I'm really looking forward to, to adding to stuff that I'm already saying that could bring it out when I'm trying to represent stuff that I'm already saying even more. Not, not new content, but kind of like the presentation of that. So I'm excited about that. And um, pretty soon I'm going to have my first hour of comedy, and I'm going to break it up into like four... I can break it up potentially into like four 15 minute sets or I can do one full hour or multiple like a few different uh, 20 minute sets or six tens or whatever you get what I'm saying right I'm excited about that because I really want to have repeat customers but I want to have repeat customers here new stuff and I want to have it transition and I know the second that I get ready to walk out on that stage I'm not just going to know it I'm going to know it backward forward reverse inside out Okay, but I'm going to be on such a great technical level 
and also a, uh, a deep thought provoking uh, level with all my comedy and stuff that I'm saying that people are just going to be able to like my, the word of mouth is going to be my, my greatest uh, uh, free advertisement right because they're just going to be saying my jokes back to me or their friends and then it'll blow up the best 100% the best advertisers are people that like the things uh, that you give them you know what I mean word of mouth in short so I'm excited about what's next I'm still not really working on getting booked I'm still I'm still pressure testing and doing open mics and and I'm really getting everything ironed out to like the highest degree level possible and then once I'm done I'll start hitting the stage but when I start hitting the stage again I'm gonna I'm gonna have my whole hour ready and I'm gonna be able to sell it to workshop it not really well not really workshop it too much but be able to like uh, refine it just make it better and better and better and better and better somebody told me the other day that um, you hit a certain level where you stop trying to do less and you only try to do more okay and what he was referring to is headlining I told him that I really wanted to feature for a professional comedian which means like go before them network and that's great but he, he told me like a really important lesson which is you should always be trying to headline you shouldn't be trying to do less you should be trying to do more and if you're working on doing more and you get the opportunity to do less you can take it but don't let doing less be your goal and I was like man just like thoughts exploded what a beautiful way of saying things it can be used for such a universal principle. Going back to that formula of success, that scientific method, that scientific approach. So I am so pumped. I am so excited. And um, I'm just ready to, to just conquer, to just destroy. I'm just so pumped. So anyway, with that being mentioned, I hope everybody has a beautiful day. I'm Benji Well Done. Check me out. Ladies and gentlemen, peace.